All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the new Tech GT Pan that just dropped on Global a few days ago. And while she's not considered to be, you know, the most hype unit for most people, she's definitely very, very powerful. In fact, I would say she's easily a top 10 TUR in the game right now, arguably even top five. So yeah, with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. Here is the team we're gonna be running. We got the double GT Pans as our leaders, along with the uh, AGL GT Trunks and Goten, the free-to-play Int Giru, uh, LRB Pan, Fizz GT Goku, and finally, the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, on this first rotation, we do have the Friend Pan, which is at 69%, I believe. Yes, she is, so 69% Pan, starting with 208,000 defense, which is not bad, but keep in mind that she also gets 50% damage reduction in the first slot before she takes an attack, so she's actually very, very tanky right now. And she also can get 100% more attack and defense after launching 5 attacks. So, yeah, starting with 200k defense is quite good. Let's give her a couple of orbs here and uh, see how much damage she can do on this first turn. Okay, so of course, normal attacks are not going to do any damage. A super might do a little bit more, but probably still not a lot. And our first super is 3.7 mil. Here's the additional, 4.5, 4.6. It's already a huge jump. Maybe a third super here. No third super, we did get the additional attack. So some pretty good damage there. Some pretty good damage there on turn one. Now, of course... Um, she did have double supports on this rotation, right? So the next rotation here with the other pen, my pen, is not going to be as impressive. But she should still put up some pretty decent numbers. So checking the defense here, 186,000 in between the two units because she gets all of her links. Or, oh yeah, once she gets the super, she will have all her links. But because I want her in the first slot... She's going to lose some links from the B-Pan, but still get four, which is, uh, you know, still still decent. And without support, she has 162k defense, which is obviously a bit of a drop-off, but still decent once again because she's getting that 50% damage reduction. So I'm actually kind of hoping that we take a super, which we didn't, but at some point she'll take a super in the first slot before she attacks, and uh, you'll see just how good of a tank this unit can be. Okay, so no additional super there. We did get the additional normal. And of course, that's also good because we want to get as many attacks off as possible to uh, not only build up her passive, but also get the uh, active skill as well, which uh, I think we can use once we launch five attacks or more in battle. So yeah, so far, so, uh, so good, guys. We're going back to the friend here who already has three stacks of attack and defense on our passive. And this should be a pretty nice super, but on top of that, we should also be tanking really, really well. Come on, super me. Super me. Dude, like, I don't understand why in these showcases, when I want units, when I want enemies to super me, right? They never do it. They never do it, and then when I'm doing like a run for something hard, like, I don't know, red zone for example, they always super at like the worst times. <laughs> it always happens guys, I'm telling you. Okay, so, uh, back to this rotation, Pan now has 264k defense, this is after only two supers, of course, with the addition of the support from Giru now, and uh, as far as her... Um, as far as her unit super attacks go, there's three of them, right? One with Giru, one with Trunks, and one with Goku. But it looks like the one with GT Goku, at least in my experience, seems to take precedent over the other ones. So let's say you have, you know, like a GT Trunks and a GT Goku on rotation. It looks like she's getting that GT Goku uh, attack over the other ones. And obviously, if you only have a GT Trunks, then she'll do the Trunks one, or you only have like the Giru one, she'll do the Giru one. But the Goku one seems to take precedent, which kind of makes sense because it is the best one, right? So, yeah, that's just one thing I've noticed about this unit. Okay, 
So here we go. Still not supering me. Still not, still not getting supered. 5.5 mil super though. That's nice. Good damage. Additional super, 6.5. One more. Give me one more. <sighs> Damn it. I should have given her actually some additional skill orbs. Now that I think about it, because I gave her two crit skill orbs. So she, so she has like level 19 crit or something like that, right? Which is nice. But at the same time, we don't get that additional third super attack that often. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so I think I'm going to save the B pen uh, active skill for a little bit later. Because I don't think this pen is fully built up. Or if she is, um, you know, it's still too early in the showcase. So I'm going to wait a little bit. 330k defense is very nice. And maybe this time, maybe this time, Goku will super us. Come on, Goku. Why? I don't know what he has against like attacking us. Like it's 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 ridiculous. Apt. We haven't been supered in the first slot uh, in five turns now, which is something that never happens to me. You know, like I always get supered in slot one when I don't want it to happen, and then we do a showcase where I really really want it to happen. And he's just like, nope, I'm not gonna super you, man. I'm, I'm not gonna super. I'm gonna be nice today. I'm gonna be nice today and just not super you. Maybe on the next. Bro, mm. Okay, so it's B Pan that gets supered. Of course, you guys know B Pan can be a very good tank, so she did not take much damage there at all. And uh, let's just finish things off with uh, one more attack from my Pan here. Uh, 292k defense. I think she might actually be fully built up. Now the difference in defense is because I gave my pen attack skill orbs and the uh, friend has defense skill orbs. So that's the main difference right there. 6.6 mil and that'll do it. Okay, so we really haven't seen pan's like full tanking capabilities yet, but we have been able to see, you know, her... Uh, offensive capabilities which is still good um I'm, I'm i'm a little bit concerned about giru at the end there i think he should still survive a super attack but oh there we go perfect okay let's go he's gonna do 82 damage this is exactly why i didn't pop the item because i was thinking about it i was like you know what if giru takes a super at the end there that would really suck but i really wanted and to take a super attack without any items and we got that and on top of that not only did she tank a super from the golden great ape for 82 damage she also did a crap load of damage right there um i think the second super was over 9 mil right it was something crazy it, it, it was something crazy so yeah pan looking pretty good pan looking pretty good i know people don't really want her because it's pan but they made her a beast man they, they made her an absolute monster. Okay, so now we can pop this active skill. Um, do I want to go for it is the question. Okay, first things first. Yeah, let, let's go for it. Let's go for it. So first things first, I'm going to turn on active skills. And then let's pop the B pan active skill first. Get that attack boost. There we go. And now... We'll pop the GT pan and uh, enjoy this nice animation with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which I just feel like they had to include because if it was only pan for all the animations, people would be like, I don't know about that. But because they included Super Saiyan 4 Goku, it's like, yo, it's almost like another Super Saiyan 4 Goku unit, right? So like, I think a lot of people summoned, honestly, mainly for this animation right here. And as you can see, it hits pretty hard. It hits pretty, pretty hard, that active skill, man. And now, this super attack will also hit really damn hard. Please super me. No, oh, interesting. Okay, 10 mil did not land. 11 mil should land. Uh, we should crit here. There we go. And I'm saying for Goku is dead. 
That's the monster, guys. Just an absolute monster. Okay, um, do we want to pop the active skill again here? Uh, might as well. Might as well, because I don't know how long this full power Super Saiyan 4 is gonna... It's gonna last, you know, so... Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, I'm gonna watch the animation again just because I really enjoy it, and also... We're showcasing her, so we gotta let the animation play out. Right, that's just... Out of respect. So here comes the... <laughs> DT Goku, looking super derpy in this in this shot right here. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and yeah, that's some crazy damage, guys. That is one of the harder hitting uh, active skills in the game for sure, no doubt. Okay, um, should I be concerned about these other guys' defense? You know what? They'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> Famous last words. You know what? It doesn't even matter because I think Pan is gonna finish them off. I think, or finish him off. I think Pan will kill full power Super Saiyan 4 before he has a chance. Oh my gosh, she took 19 damage, guys. She took 19 damage. <laughs> That's just crazy. That's just crazy. Okay, so we didn't finish off uh, full power, but we got him pretty close. Uh, and, uh, you know, one of these other guys will finish off, finish him off for sure. And the good thing is, we're not going to get supered again. So, there's no concern about that at all. Um, but that's going to do it for the Pan Showcase, guys. I mean, what else is there to say? She's a freaking monster. She's maybe, you know, she's not as good as the new Kid Goku on, uh, on, on JP. But well, that's to be expected. Oh, okay, you know, for a second I thought we were getting supered again, then I realized, nah, it's my Super Saiyan 4 Goku that's supering, not the enemy. So, there you have it. There you have it. Yo, GT Pan. I said top 10 in the beginning, right? Top 5, I think, is, is easy. Top 5 is easy. The only thing you would be concerned about or you might complain about with this unit is that you two need to have, you know, some, some specific units or at least some specific characters on your team to get the most out of her, like... Some GT characters, a GT Goku, um, you know, for her passive and also for her super attacks. So there is that. I will admit it. You know, she's not like a perfect unit by any means, but you know, just like the Ginyu, when you satisfy the conditions, she's insane. She's amazing. So that is your showcase for the GT Pan. She is going to do really well on. Um, some of the hardest stages in the game as well, like the red zone stages or uh, Extreme Super Battle Road and stuff like that, just because she's such a good slot 1 tank. And then uh, after she attacks, she will lose that damage reduction, but she gets a lot of defense. So, you know, it kind of makes up for it. She basically is one of the better slot 1 units in the game, that's for sure. So, yeah, I love this unit. Um, I, know, I know it's Pan, but... I'm glad I got her, man. I'm really glad I, glad I got her. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about the GT Pan. If you didn't have an opinion before, or if you, you know, always had an opinion, still let me know. And uh, that's it, guys. That's that's all I gotta say. That is the showcase. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.